now we're getting a first look at the other man who died, 52-year-old Christopher Brueger. He is on the right. Let's go to ABC Action News anchor Jasmine Stiles. She's in studio with us this morning sharing how people are remembering those two today. Well, we talked with the executive director of Sebring Regional Airport, and he told us that the aviation community is tight-knit, and they're working on a plan to honor Lord. We dug into Lord's pilot record. The website for his business, Gyroplane Guy, shows he's an instructor and test pilot with thousands of hours of flight time. But somehow, something went wrong around 3 Tuesday afternoon. The aircraft carrying him and Brueger went down. One neighbor told us it began sputtering, hit a power pole, snapping it in half, then burst into flames on impact. We're still gathering more information on Brueger, but we're told Lord is a husband and father, leaving behind young children. FAA and NTSB investigators will be combing through the wreckage, but Highlands County investigators are looking into the deaths. If you saw that gyrocopter right before it went down, detectives want to hear from you. We have the number to call on our website. That's abcactionnews.com.